It's April 30th, 2022. Um, I'm trying to negotiate the news. Like, I'm trying to figure it out by myself with no basis and no foundational training whatsoever. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, all right, let me put this in perspective. I'm like, so they have something in a religious whatever called the Jewish community. They're now, they have a few days on the calendar. I'm never prepared for them because I don't know what they are. Uh, it's not something that's been reinforced. It's not something that they even really, they say like it's the day, but like they don't say what it's about, which again, it's their privacy. I, I'm respectful. But with them being here and other things going on, it gets really confusing. Now they have out this, apparently, two months ago it was the blacks had a month now and they got some historical whatever. They're trying to teach everybody about their proposal as to how they saw things. Um, and now it seems they've put up on the television the suggestion of it's Arab Heritage Month. And again, I'm not really connecting because I have no basis for it. So when these messages come on, I'm like... Um, you know what I did I did see that was missing on the last 43 years of calendar events or attempts or suggestions or whatever the humans call it. I have not really seen Christian teachings either on the whatever. I also really haven't seen anything Catholic promoted. They say really, they say a lot of really nasty things about Catholics. I got to be honest. I've heard that throughout the years. I don't ever know why. Um, they say. I mean, they're just. But then, again, a grain of salt. I mean, I see the local Greek place um, a while back. Guy, I was walking down the street, guy just comes out and starts throwing salt. I'm like, I don't even know what that means. Meanwhile, I had two, what could have been hate graffiti on two of the restaurants in the local area. One looking like two stars of David on the eyes and one looking very tiki, voodoo, like I don't even know what kind of culture that's from. Because, again, I'm in this, like, jumble lie, and there's no teacher. Um, just a whole lot of people moving at, like, some... They know who they are and what it's all about. Almost like it's some divine comedy where I'm... It's like, joke's on you. It's like, yeah, really? And what's the joke about exactly? Because are you joshing me? Is this a joke? Like, I don't really get it. Like, for real. As we celebrate Arab American Heritage Month, we take you to Brooklyn, where families have a brand new place to find support. CBS 2's Cindy Shu gives us a tour of a new center in Cobble Hill. The Arab American Family Support... They just say Cobble Hill? As in, like, apple cobbler? I'm just curious, because it's an apple turnover, and it's a real effing problem with Snow White and her seven dwarves. Here's the faces up here of, I don't understand how they became neighbors. This was not discussed. It was not asked if they could come over. They just arrived, and I have no idea who they are, what they practice, where they come from, what they're all about, why they're here. They just descend upon the apple like as if they just want to tear it to shreds and it's the last meal on earth. And this is what they're going with. It gets really confusing.
Sports Center, or AAFSC, just opened its latest location on Atlantic Avenue in Cobble Hill, a central hub for Arab Americans. Inside, it's filled with decorations for Ramadan. The center helps low-income immigrants and refugees get some of the most basic necessities, such as diapers and food. New classrooms are ready for adult education and literacy classes. So it could be English as a second language, but also in preparation for their citizenship. Every student who has taken the prep classes has passed their citizenship exam. What does that mean? Citizenship. Like, I... Like... My grandfather getting here, it was, he had to ask permission of where he was leaving, and then he came here, and he didn't talk about his journey. I have no idea what it was about. There was no talk about it. It wasn't like it was a big thing. And then I was born here. And now there's all of these other things. I mean, and while I was born here... There was no naturalization whatsoever. They they were like, yeah, Tony, come on over. Austrian, like, Hungarian, Ottoman Empire, some land change on the map. You're now called Italian, even though your people aren't, but that's what they're going to say in your son's lifetime. So now he comes over with some flag and then becomes whatever. And then what, like, granddaughter just gets railroaded for some new mouths to feed that are coming over and quietly gathering and I just get forgotten about? Because it's really what it feels like. And right away, the center makes sure they're registered to vote. There's a playroom. They're registered to vote for what? They're registered to vote on what? So now they come over and they're registered to vote, but there's nothing set up because nothing's been decided. I mean, like, where are these, where are these votes being counted? Why are they registering to vote for what? I mean, like, it's so ridiculous. There's no Italian contact for Lewis and myself. There's no Italian-American contact. There's no Irish-American contact for Lynn, being that she's the daughter of an Irish immigrant. And there's no American-American contact for Nicole. But yet there's contacts for other people. So, I mean, I don't understand how the city's justifying itself. It's really confusing. But they've definitely put me in harm's way by conducting themselves this in this fashion, where everybody seems to have some community group, community outreach, some votes, some voice, some this, some that, some money, some funds, some way to support themselves, some pathway to success for themselves, their grandchildren, and then there's the new there's the American American who had no Irish American help, who had no Italian American help, and who now has in third generation no American American help. How does that work exactly? Because it it's not working, and it's very frustrating. Room for kids and a teaching kitchen. Our constituents love to share recipes from their native countries. So they come here and they share the recipes and share it with our staff as well as our community members. The staff speaks 36 different languages and goes into communities to distribute food, educate residents about COVID, and spread the word about all the services they offer. As they come to the United States, they are in isolation, they are away from their family members, and that's when they need us the most. Another focus is... No, no, it's not. Because the children born here to nothingness after it's already been wiped out with more people jumping on top of the apple, like there's only this much apple left and they're sending people onto the picnic table to rip that away. How and who is behind this? Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Kederos, it's Earth. 
solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.